We are looking at live images here. Uh, a lot of high-ranking uh, members of the brass there on the scene now trying to move this crowd along. Once again, at Union Square, the police department estimating at least a couple thousand people now. And we remind you that subways are bypassing the Union Square stations right now as they try to get a handle on this. Jonathan Deans, you're continuing to monitor the stream. What are you seeing and hearing? Uh, right now, it appears to have uh, gotten dark uh, that uh, the, he and or his followers were online. Uh, up until about five minutes ago, uh, that feed at least appears to have stopped for now. So perhaps that's a sign that uh, uh, there may be attempts to get this under control. And if he goes dark online, uh, perhaps the crowd realizes that whatever event was planned may be going, uh, being called off and the police are moving in to try to get this uh, crowd uh, going. Now, it appeared earlier, you saw some of the crowds moving in one direction than the other, that perhaps they were trying to get their eyes on uh, this uh, celebrity uh, social media uh, with uh, 5 million plus followers, according to uh, uh, the online uh, summaries that I've read about him. Uh, and that could explain why you've sometimes have seen the surge of the crowd going one way and the other as they try to get their eyes on him. And now it appears some of the pushing and uh, shoving is as police are trying to move in and try to get this crowd to disperse in an orderly fashion. But uh, again, it appears there is uh, quite a bit of pushing and shoving going on. And uh, hopefully uh, uh, police are able to uh, restore things uh, as you see, they're putting up some barricades now to try to get, uh, the, as Terry was discussing, the streets reopened, the crowd to disperse, and things to get back to some sense of order. But I think we are some time away from that, just given the sheer number of young people who, uh, who have uh, converged on uh, Union Square in an attempt to take part in of whatever social media event was uh, planned here by this influencer. And John, as Chief Monaghan was saying, and as you're mentioning here too, using that line technique to try to get in there and, and penetrate the crowd, as you were saying, and Dave, as we were watching, we've seen kind of the crowd swaying back and forth, getting in little little groups there among the, the huge mass of people. But there is a big concern because it really doesn't take much for somebody to fall or somebody, you know, just to trip something to happen, an injury to happen. We don't know of any injuries right now. We just know the crowd is just huge. I'm going to ask if Chopper Four can hear us. I know that that seems to be a focal point, but just to pull out out a little bit to give us some perspective here. Again, the trains are bypassing the station, but we would imagine this is affecting some motor vehicle traffic as well. The latest estimate from the police department's press office with a couple of thousand people there. So you can see that that's a choke point. Okay, Chopper 4, thank you. And you can go back, but you're giving a perspective here down uh, in Union Square. Um, Terry Monahan is on. Uh, you know, Jonathan was mentioning this popular uh, YouTuber maybe as the center point of this. Terry, I would imagine the department's IT team looking at this well, and they would probably want to find him and kind of remove him from the situation, maybe to defuse things. Is that sound I accurate would, or not? I, I would expect that they've gotten him, they've located him at this point, and if he's gone dark, uh, I would probably say that it was NYPD that told him to go dark. Okay, and for folks who are just joining us, we've been mentioning this crowd gathering here in the past hour for a popular YouTube creator, Kai Sanad. Apparently, social media posts, according to police, were advertising a, a giveaway event, uh, the PlayStation 5 systems, and that's why people just, all the crowds ran this way. And, and here, Dave and I have been seeing in the past 15 minutes, the kids, the teenagers jumping on cars there. It looked like a roof of, of some type of building structure over there to the right. We're seeing the streets blocked. And as you said, Dave, MTA uh, bypassing all the trains from getting to that station. You want to keep those crowds from growing. And at this point, police are just trying to penetrate that crowd and, and loosen things up a bit here. Make sure nobody gets hurt. Yeah, I mean, as we've been looking here, uh, there was, again, some unruly behavior, some things being thrown. But Currently, we don't see that. Obviously, people uh -huh. standing on top of a pavilion there, uh, uh -huh. that can't uh, sustain, and also some vehicles. But it does look like Terry Monahan, the NYPD, trying to use some restraint here and go about this methodically. Yeah, you want to move quickly. You want to get them out of there. That, your main focus is to break these crowds up into smaller groups and get them to disperse. You want to take that 2,000 into smaller groups of 100 or so here and there. This way, they all start to head back to their own neighborhoods.
And can you tell us, Terry, when, when you're planning an event like this, what are the rules surrounding that? I mean, nowadays with social media, you know, these, you know, all types of creators can just get online and say, hey, meet me here. We're going to have a meet and greet or, you know, come to Times Square. What are the rules surrounding that? They have to, I'd assume, contact the NT NYPD at some point, right? No, and that's the problem. Is they're just putting something out, and it's an unpermitted type event, uh, and, and that's what causes the problem. Is just the straight social media. If this influence had come to the NYPD, said he's going to have some event at Union Square, resources would have been there, barriers would have been set up properly, entrance and exit points could have been done. Done, but this was just out of the blue uh, by putting it out, and now the NYPD has to react as quickly as possible to get resources over there to take control of the situation that they could have controlled very easily if they had advance warning. All right, as we look at the live images, Terry, uh, we are seeing officers start to lead at least one person away, uh, somewhat restrained, if not fully in handcuffs, as they try to get a handle on this. Jonathan Dean's also working the phones, looking at the social media feeds. Jonathan, what have you learned upstairs? Yeah, I just spoke with uh, chief spokesman for the NYPD, who said basically it is the highest level of mobilization for the police department right now, and that they will be sending thousands, was what he said. I said, are they sending hundreds? He says, no, thousands of officers will be sent to deal with this very large crowd, uh, both uh, in terms of crowd control and attempts to pers uh, D uh, disperse this crowd uh, given the enormity of uh, the situation. Uh, I've lost uh, whatever live stream was up, uh, so hopefully uh, that may lead to some calm there, but there is a sense, at least among police officials, that the influencer is either somewhere in that crowd or in a vehicle nearby. That was the last uh, images we saw before his live stream went dark. And again, the uh, you see a lot of the pushing and shoving uh, as uh, it is unclear if uh, that is uh, the influencer himself yep. Uh, yep. At, in the center That's of that it. scene. He's being lifted out right now. Jonathan, that is Kai Sinat, who's being lifted out right now. There are officers taking Kai Sinat out right now. He's a very popular YouTuber. So, so that, you know, if, if he leaves or is escorted from the scene and has called on his, uh, which we did hear earlier, calling on the crowd to remain calm and peaceful, uh, and if the crowd is able to disperse and act that way, hopefully that you there could be a uh, calm resolution to this. But again, the concern obviously is this pop-up crowd, literally a couple thousand people, and now lots of police responding to try to restore order. The subways bypassing that area, the streets in the immediate area are shut down and blocked as a result of the size of this crowd. Uh, we have seen some bottles thrown uh, uh, based on the aerial footage uh, that Chopper 4 has been providing and uh, some pushing and shoving. But so far, we don't, and there you just saw some uh, material again being thrown across the above the heads of the crowd and the police. And uh, we'll see, but it is, uh, you know, a difficult let me, situation in the Union Square area at this time. Let me, let, let me, let me go. Let me, uh, let me interrupt here, and I'm going to ask Chopper Ford to zoom back in on that because Terry Monahan's with us. Clearly, officers are now talking to Monahan. Actually, zoom back into that. I'm sorry, they're talking to Kai Sinat. Um, Terry, what's this conversation like? Are they, they're not arresting him. What, what, what is, what, what do we think is happening here? Well, they want probably to have him get on, get on his, in, his. Um his site to tell people to go home, to leave, that there's not going to be a giveaway, that there's nothing going to go on, that there's, it's time for people to go home and go home peacefully. Uh, you know, make him get that message out. Whether or not uh, they want to hold him accountable for what happened, uh, that'll be a determination that the police are going to make. Uh, we'll have to see what, what, how that plays out. Yeah, it looks like officers are there talking to the YouTube creator Kai Sinat there. Uh, reportedly, this huge giveaway that he had live streamed was scheduled for 4 p.m., but as we know, apparently that square had already started to fill up by 3 p.m. There was a giveaway of PlayStations, which I think those run around $500 a piece. So these crowds showed up in full force. And right now, again, police, as, as Dave noticed, uh, they are talking with, it, it appears, YouTube creator Kai Sinat, Hopefully trying to get him to spread the message that, you know, this event is over and they can get these crowds cleared out here safely. Yeah. Doesn't look especially tense, but obviously this kind of crowd cannot linger there. Mm -hmm. uh, and perhaps things have calmed down. Now we're seeing other people uh, brought. Terry, as we, again, we look at this again. 
the officers seem to be engaged in conversation at this point right mm -hmm. now. Yeah, you want to defuse the situation. You want to be able to get people to go home. And that's, that's the message that they're saying. Let them know there's no giveaway, no reason to stay here. Get out of here before you end up having to be arrested. That's the thing. When you see these crowds, it appears there's some, some younger, younger children there uh, in the crowd. And, you know, with thousands and thousands of people, that's the risk here. You obviously want folks to stay safe, but you're seeing the officers. And I'm sure if we zoom back out again, we can see if that crowd has gotten any better here. We know officers had formed that line. And it appears we're hoping that things will clear out a bit. You see to the left side of your screen, it looks like those crowds are moving back, Dave, yeah, does, significantly. Yeah, people there. are starting yeah. to peel away. Mm -hmm. There will be no more giveaway of uh, PlayStation for sure. And as we look at this and Chopper 4 keeping us uh, with a bird's eye view, I'm going to ask the folks upstairs to just edit that video we saw a few minutes mm -hmm. ago and see if we can take another look. Again, we believe Kai Sinat at one point being carried out there. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we believe, based on our early reporting, that he was live streaming uh, for this giveaway and it led to some large crowds. Again, this is early reporting on this, mm -hmm. uh, not accusing or indicting yet, but this is our early reporting. So if we get that video queued up, we'll take a look at it again. But in the meantime, it does look like, Terry Monahan that the NYPD is calm. I, I know they don't like that crowd there, but it does look like things have calmed down a little bit. I know it could turn on a dime. Yeah, and that's just get the, get the numbers out there, get enough police officers on the scene so that people know that they mean business, and hopefully it makes people disperse. John of the Deeds, you're with us upstairs as well. Yeah, hi, David. Uh, again, his uh, social media stream uh, is playing some uh, tape elements. I don't know if it's live. It's not listed whether it's live, but it does show... Uh, some boasting that there were some gift cards or some other mm -hmm. items that they were planning to give away. Uh, I cannot identify who is in that van at this time. I'm uh, new to this uh, site. But as you can see, uh, the police uh, continue to mobilize and to try to come up with a plan on how to deal with this crowd of young people who have assembled in Union Square um, and again, we're waiting to hear back from police and the fire department regarding if there have been any injuries so far. We've not received any word of that. Um, and again, it appears the social media influencer and some of his uh, immediate uh, associates may have arrived or planned on arriving in some sort of van. Um, and uh, we're planning some sort of giveaway in and around the Union Square area. Uh, he literally, according to the social media pages, uh, it indicates he has uh, about 5 million followers and that I guess when the word went out that uh, he was going to be there with possible giveaways, uh, many of his fans and followers decided to show up. And uh, that is why you see the crowd that you see uh, below uh, in and around Union Square. So far, for the most part, other than some pushing and shoving, other than some bottles and some debris that was thrown for the most part it appears for now uh, things are stable yet concerning given the size of this crowd but you can see at least in this immediate union square area there's been some uh, reduction in the concentration of the crowd but if you look down on some of the side streets around uh, 14th street there uh, the some of the streets remain packed but it does appear that police are starting to get some of the crowd moving. Um, and the question is, uh, how long will this take before uh, order is restored? Yeah, and we sure do hope that you are correct with that and there are no injuries. We, we hope so. I know early on, Dave, what was concerning mm -hmm. is once the crowd was all packed together, seeing them sway and shove and yes. push, you know, that was, that you was saw concerning. saw a small child, you believe. I, right? I thought I saw a couple kids getting hoisted up and then passed kind of through the crowd. That way, you know, they don't get injured down in the mix. Um, but what we will say is, you know, it does, like, John has been saying, and Terry Monaghan, it does appear that looks pretty crammed right there, crowded down that side. But for the most part, it looks like they're able. And Jonathan Deans from NBC. Uh, okay, that Jonathan's on the phone, on the phone there. there talking. Well, we're we're coming up on 430. Yeah. Just wanted to tell you what we've been looking at here. These are live images from Chopper 4 at Union Square. The crowd gathered, uh, as we understand it, in anticipation of a giveaway of a PlayStation uh, fueled by a social media feed. And the crowd quickly swelled. The, the police department responded. There was some throwing of debris at some point. And now 
we seem to be, what are we looking at here? Dave, Natalie? what this looks like, I'm gonna walk over to the monitor so yeah. I can see a little better, but uh, it looks like they're on top of a food truck and throwing some of the bottled waters away, some of the items there in the food truck. You see several, what appears to be uh, teenagers, young men, um, and a, another woman there climbing the side of the food yeah. truck there. So, uh, you know, hopefully they'll get the, the officers will move over to that section and try to disperse that crowd specifically because before when we zoomed out to the right, it looked like the crowds were clearing up a bit, but it's still pretty packed in this area. Um, it's been what about almost 45 minutes now? At least, yeah. Yeah, at, at least, least 45 we minutes. First, we've seen these uh, we came on the top of the newscast with it, and the crowd had been gathered. Uh, last estimate from the NYPD, a couple of thousand. Chris Glorioso from the I team has been jumping on this. Chris, you've been able to learn anything? Well, we've been trying to piece together how this all came about by looking at this live stream, and I call it live stream, meaning it's not clear what portions of it were live and uh, because there is no indication as to when it was happening uh, as we were watching. But one thing seems clear. There was some sort of van nearby just outside Union Square where this social media influencer and those people who were video recording him and, and, and live streaming his activities were essentially holed up in this van. And, and you may have heard our, my colleague Jonathan Deans talk about, you know, there, there was part of the video where he takes out a, a handful of what appear to be gift cards purchased from a nearby pharmacy. Could have been dozens or even hundreds of gift cards and holds them up and and says that he was planning to, to come out and give them away uh, and then provides some criticism looking out the window of the NYPD, which of course is concerning. It's not clear uh, whether uh, viewers uh, of his live stream were watching that, uh, but the uh, social media influencers seem to be indicating that were it not for police presence, uh, he would have come out and provided some of these. But then he ultimately does come out and the look on his face when he comes out of the van, uh, frankly, it appears to be one of surprise. It, it appears to be one where even he was taken aback by the sheer volume of people who had come up, uh, come out to take him up on this offer. Uh, he proceeded to, to go deeper into Union Square. And then we think we have now seen video of him being pulled aside uh, by uh, uh, NYPD. Uh, again, what they are talking to him about, whether it be any uh, possibility that he might be able to go back on some live stream to tamp things down, to tell people to go home. We just don't know what those conversations are at this point. But obviously, the real risk here, and you're seeing part of it on your television screen right now, is people uh, are, are going to be expressing some level of frustration, either frustration that they didn't get the free goods that they came out to try and get, or uh, that uh, they have been uh, deceived in some way. We just don't know. But you're, you're seeing some of this you know, lawless behavior here, um, perhaps be, because people uh, feel as though they came out to get something and it wasn't there. Chris Glorioso, we thank you for that. Just, just hang tight and we'll get back to you here. We want to get out to News Force Checky Beckford, our reporter who just arrived there on the scene. Checky, I understand you're at 14th Street and 6th Avenue. What are you seeing and hearing? Yeah, Natalie, we're a couple of blocks from where this is all really happening, or the center anyway of it, but it's blocked off here from 14th and 6th Avenue. You want to take take a look over here. You can see the road blocked off as uh, crews try to direct people where to go. And over here on the corner, I want to show you, I think we've got about at least about 16 or 20 police officers lined up here at the corner. Uh, look like they're ready to go, uh, ready to, to handle any of those people, that any parts of the group that come this direction. Uh, people are still using the subway here. They're still allowing them to go in this direction. But um, as we can see, a large police presence here as they're preparing if that crowd makes its way in this direction. We also saw some officers pull up and then get out of the car uh, with face gear on and with their batons at the ready. Uh, this, of course, as police apparently appear to be preparing for uh, the riot situation that you've been mentioning, talking about this large crowd of what thousands of people that were uh, kind of brought here via that influencer, talking about a free giveaway of PlayStations and, of course, all of the mayhem. Uh, uh, that has broken loose so far. But we have got, uh, like I said, about at least a dozen or more police officers lined up here at the corner of 14th and 6th uh, Ave uh, waiting for that group uh, to potentially come this way. Um, as of right now, as you mentioned, they're still kind of concentrated in the main area of Union Square uh, and don't seem to be coming in this direction at this point. But they are standing at the ready right now, police officers, to make sure that they can contain this as much as possible if they do have. West here toward where we're standing. 
Check it. Just want to get your feel of it. I know you got down there and scrambled. We see pedestrians walking by as well. What's your sense, having covered uh, many events in the city, your feel of things right now? It's, it's always it's always interesting to see this many this number of police officers gathered in one area here. Uh, but you know, people, New Yorkers, just going along as though nothing is happening because many of them don't, them don't even know what's happening. They have no idea uh, what's hap what's unfolding about two blocks away from us right now. Uh, and some of them stopping to ask police officers what's happening, uh, but they don't have any idea uh, what is unfolding here in Union Square. Uh, but I can tell you that the police look like they are at the ready. We have again, I would say at least a dozen. I'm counting even more, more cars pulling up as we speak. The road is blocked off, uh, though they are still letting people use the station here. Uh, the F and M train still running here uh, at 14th and 6th. So, uh, just quite a situation. I can tell you that um, everything is calm here for the moment. But again, police are at the ready. And Chucky, uh, I know you just got there, and we want to we want to let folks know as we're talking to you what we're showing on the screen. Um, we, we're going to stick with you here, but we're showing there's a there's a food truck, and what we don't want to see is there's a bunch of um, young men on the food truck throwing items. There's an umbrella they took down. Uh, the crowds gathering in that area there. Have you had a chance to talk to anybody leaving this event? No, no, not at this point. We did see a number of young men who appeared to be talking about the situation that were headed into the subway and, and, and moving pretty quickly, um, but we didn't get a chance to actually speak to them. We see uh, a number of police officers actually, if you look down the street here, headed east uh, toward um, Union Square uh, as they're heading into the area right now. We'd say probably at least a dozen of them heading in toward the area here. Actually, right by us right now, a couple more police officers with face gear and uh, batons at hand uh, heading toward the crowd there in Union Union Square again, like you mentioned, a couple thousand people. Are you guys going to the toward that yes. the giveaway? What did you hear about it? One second, guys. Here we've got some people who look like they're heading toward it. It's a lot of people. I went over there and it's like, yikes! It's like a lot of crowd. Like, but like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like, were you were you scared? I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I was kind of, I was kind of panicking. I came back to the train, got my means, and I said, we got to go back right now. You're going back. Why? I just like it's not every day that you see a famous person, so you know you gotta take you gotta take chances when you get the opportunities. And this the not person is famous to you? He's very famous. How so describe? He's like all right, all right. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you. So you heard from some of the people here that came for this event, this supposed free PlayStation giveaway. Uh, this young man went there, said that he saw, again, a lot of people. We know that there are thousands of people there, and that he even himself was scared at, about the situation, but for some reason is now heading back in there. Uh, and that is something that police actually don't want. They're warning people to stay away from the area, uh, to not have that crowd grow larger. As you know, that there's situations that are happening there, that there's a crowd that's growing, it's made him, like you mentioned, Natalie, them throwing uh, items off of food trucks and so forth. So not a situation that they should be heading back into, but of course they are. Uh, Checky, we're actually showing that video right now. They're still throwing items off the food truck, but wait, we're going to zoom out because it looks like you can see those kids that were on top of the food truck. Yeah, they're no longer there because police have moved in. They're they're still trying to disperse the crowds. I understand we do have some breaking news um, regarding that YouTuber Kai Sinat. Let's get over to uh, Terry Monahan on yeah, the phone. Terry. Terry, what have you learned? Yeah, guys. So I just talked to some people on the scene uh, here that they have a bus on the scene. They're making multiple arrests, and that the influence of Kai has also been arrested. And Terry, what I know it's early. Uh, what would the charge be? What is he potentially culpable for here? And I know he's, he's innocent until proven guilty. But yeah, yeah I mean, uh, looking at it, obviously they'll, they'll talk to the lawyers. Uh, but inciting a riot, okay, causing right. people to show up, uh, having something that caused the mayhem that you're seeing right now. If it wasn't for his actions, calling for this, not talking with the police, not set doing things the right way. It's okay, and Terry, and Terry, as you speak, I just want to be clear. We're showing some video here, not Kaisen, but some people being arrested. You mentioned there are uh, there have been arrests. We don't believe that is him. But uh, the NYPD now moving in, and we just saw a bunch of young people start to scramble. They were on top of a food truck, and as the officers moved in. So walk us through, Terry, former chief of department, these levels of mobilization and how they approach it when they're suddenly uh, confronting a crowd that just kind of sprouted up quickly. So you have to get them organized into one area. So you have them show up different off the scene, supervisors there, and you have them work as a team. You move in, you have arrest teams there, 
What is the disperse? I'm sure I've been given. I would expect that the SRG, who are the experts, would be the front line with the other officers lending support. And at this point now, this is an unruly, unruly crowd. Uh, they've been told to disperse. Anyone that remains in that area could be subject to arrest, and that's what they'll start doing. You warn, you warn, you warn, and at some point then you just have to start taking people into custody. And, Terry, let's just take viewers a little bit inside with SRG. Uh, explain. That unit actually trains and is very mobile, right? Explain to viewers who may not be as familiar. So the strategic response group was put together under Commissioner Bratt when he was here. as a fast-moving team that can handle demonstrations, that works as a cohesive unit, that trains for these sort of events uh, on a regular basis. And... This is what they do. Uh, they have thousands upon thousands of peaceful protests that they can help uh, facilitate. But when it gets out of control, like you have right now, they're also the team that knows how to work, work together cohesively under supervision to go in and make the arrest and clear the crowds as necessary. And, and Terry, the images we're seeing here, if we could zoom out one more time, it definitely looks like a world of difference, Dave, from what we saw, you know, 41 minutes ago at the start of our 4 o'clock newscast. Well, we know the, the crowds were actually gathering around 3, but it's definitely uh, much more clear. The street where you'd seen the food cart in the top center of your screen now is completely cleared out. So, of course, that's definitely what we want to see. We want to see the crowds dispersing. Uh, we're hoping we haven't heard of any injuries yet, but we're still waiting to get reports on that, hoping we don't hear about any injuries. Still a, a few folks left on top of that pavilion there. We'll see if there's been any damages because earlier you're seeing uh, the video there of the uh, young men up on the taxis and the other vehicles there. Uh, but this situation hopefully will come to a calm end. We know, as you said, the uh, YouTube creator uh, has been arrested. We saw some other people getting taken into custody um, at this point. Uh, as you said, the SRG, the strategic response group, uh, has made its way in there. So hopefully uh, we will see an end to this situation soon. It all started right around 3 o'clock. Those huge crowds gathering in Union Square uh, for that PlayStation 5 giveaway event um, advertised from the YouTuber Kai Sanat. So all right, this is all early reporting. Yeah. Chief investigative reporter Jonathan Deist was actually watching the feed for a while, trying to dig up information about the person we believe who was at least part of the effort for the social media giveaway. Jonathan, uh, why don't you just walk us through again what we know and how we got to this point? Well, I think the first update I want to provide is that a fire department spokesman we spoke to just a short while ago says as of now there are no reported injuries. There are ambulances and obviously uh, emergency response units on standby in case. But as of now, according to an FDNY spokesman, and it's preliminary, uh, they have no reports of injuries. Uh, a senior police official told me uh, uh, while Terry was speaking about this level four mobilization, a spokesman had said that it could be a thousand, up to two thousand or more cops. Uh, this a police officials thought it would be about a thousand cops, and what it is is all of Manhattan South would be uh, mobilized with available officers, and then police officers would also be called in from all other precincts across the city to lend assistance to uh, deal with this uh, enormous crowd that had gathered here in Union Square. Uh, and his guesstimate was up to about a thousand police officers would be at the ready and ready to be called in to help if needed. Uh, and then, of course, you heard Terry Monahan's ex explanation regarding the strategic response group and uh, their rapid response to try to deal with the crowd. And as you can see from the Chopper 4 pictures, things are quite, uh, uh, the crowd size has decreased significantly compared to what we saw just perhaps 15 to 30 minutes ago. So, yes, still a large number of people in the vicinity, but not nearly as crowded, condensed, and packed as, uh, as earlier. Uh, again, this all started with a social influencer who uh, apparently posted some sort of gift card and, and gaming uh, giveaway uh, and went on social media. He has uh, about 5 million followers, according to uh, the postings uh, online here, and that uh, a huge crowd turned out, a couple thousand people, young people. Uh, the police caught a little bit off guard in terms of the size of this crowd. There was perhaps not enough uh, advance notice or any warning regarding uh, this event taking place. And as a result, uh, a huge uh, crowd of young people uh, approached Union Square and converged on it. And uh, it was quite a scene, uh, and it remains a scene, 
at this time as police uh, are beginning to gain control and disperse this crowd. Uh, the subways, again, were bypassing the station, not stopping there to try to uh, help get things under control. And again, with news that the social influencer is probably not on scene anymore. Uh, Terry Monahan had some reports that he was taken into custody. Uh, I had heard that he was just being taken back to his um, uh, sprinter vehicle, the van that he arrived in, and get that out of the scene. I, you know, Terry probably has better information than me regarding whether he's in custody after that took place. But we do not believe uh, that social influencer and his uh, entourage are anywhere near the Union Square area at this hour. That's our best information. Uh, as police now work to uh, disperse. Uh, the the crowd that really had grown to a, a quite a great size uh, and during that time uh, earlier we saw lots of pushing and shoving as uh, members of that crowd were trying to get a look at get close to the social influencer and uh, his entourage and um, then bottles and some other debris get, began to fly as uh, then police moved in and said this uh, needed to be put to a stop and uh, you know, now at 446, it appears they are, police are gaining the upper hand in terms of gaining control of the Union Square area. But as you can see from the chopper pictures, there is still a significant crowd and more work to be done down there. But, but John, definitely some relief, as you've been reporting, there's some relief to see the crowds are dispersing. That is what we want to see at this point. We want to get back to News Force. Checky Beckford, live on the scene. I'd assume, uh, Checky, if you're there for us, you're seeing folks leaving. Yeah, now we're we're basically surrounded by these large this large crowd of people, all of them coming from Union Square, uh, headed west here toward Sixth Avenue and 14th Street. Uh, most of them look like they're teenagers and very young people, um, or very young adults, I should say. Uh, all crowding in here. Then you have police uh, kind of trying to guide everybody out, um, stopping traffic or directing traffic so people can, can get through. But if you look at every corner here, every single corner is packed. I'll have my uh, photojournalist Alex Placencia uh, kind of pan over here so you can see just how crowded it is, is all here when you're talking about thousands of people who were crammed into Union Square and now they're all apparently exiting this way uh, all at once. Uh, this area is now packed. We haven't seen anybody uh, getting out of hand so far, uh, but people that we have been talking to have been saying that you know they were there uh, they'd gone for this giveaway this giveaway of playstations um, and then it turned into just this huge crowd and it was too much for them they at one point uh, felt unsafe and they didn't want to be there anymore so that they left um, so that's what we're hearing from some of the people who were there uh, in the beginning and now of course we know people the police that we saw that were gathered here at the corner 14th and 6th uh, they moved into to Union Square and helped to bring some of this crowd out uh, so that's what we're seeing right now all right, Checky, thank you. You and Alex, of course, staying alert. And, you know, Natalie, it's hard to underestimate. It's not just the giveaway, but mm -hmm. it's being in the presence of Kai mm -hmm. Sinat and others like him who are truly A-list celebrities in those that follow him. And I think Jonathan said he has an estimated 5 million uh, followers. I mean, so just being there in that presence. But it was really concerning looking at the crowds earlier. It looked like mosh pits. Debris was being thrown. I know Jessica Cunnington has gotten to the neighborhood as well. We want to see what she's been able to find out. Jessica? Yeah, so we are right now on Union Square West, right near East 16th Street. Uh, we did see on our walk over here to the park a ton of young people running up park. So a lot of people exiting the park, uh, making the crowds here a lot less than they were a little earlier. But I do want to give you a look at what we're seeing now. Still a lot of people inside Union Square Park uh, after this giveaway earlier today. Um, but again, we did see a large group of young people leaving the park as well. Um, so everything uh, seems to be okay at this point, although there are NYPD choppers up in the air and we are still seeing more police officers entering the park and also driving towards the park as well. Traffic is pretty much a nightmare on the streets surrounding Union Square right now because of just the sheer amount of people that were here in this park. So 
Uh, obviously, you can hear people chanting. They see the news cameras here. But again, the few young people that I stopped just to make sure, like, hey, are you guys okay? Did anyone get hurt? And they said, we're good. It was just a lot of people. Um, so at this point, again, not a, not the numbers and kind of the images of the crowds that we saw a, a little while ago. Seems like a lot of people did disperse the par park at this point, but still, as you can tell, a lot of groups of friends, a lot of young people still in the park after this giveaway. And we just heard an incredibly loud bang. We do not know what that is. A lot of people uh, reacting to that at this point, and we're seeing a lot of people um, running from this area. Let's try to give you a look here. Uh, a lot of people running away from this side, so the east side of the park. Yeah, Jess, we want to make sure you stay safe, so we're going we're gonna to let you go there. And uh, you and your photojournalists want to make sure yeah. you stay safe in that situation, so we'll let you get your bearings there, and hopefully everything is okay there. Uh, we want to get back to uh, Chief Investigative Reporter Jonathan Dietz, who's been monitoring the situation all day. And, John, I couldn't help but notice in, uh, in Jessica's live shot there, I mean, these kids look to be... 12, 13, 14 years old. These are young kids gathering a crowd that grew to be 2,000 people. Yes, a uh, very young crowd. Again, this is a social influencer with millions of followers online, on Twitch, on other social media platforms. Uh, did get off the phone just a short time ago with a police spokesman who says that social influencer, Kai Sanat, is in custody at this hour uh, and has been taken away from the scene. Uh, and that uh, police have also made numerous other arrests out of that uh, crowd. We do not have a total number yet. As of a short time ago, a fire department spokesman said there are no reported injuries, but we stress that is preliminary information as uh, it has been a somewhat chaotic scene down there. But the so best information now that we have is that the social influencer Kai Sanat is in custody, according to an NYPD spokesman. Uh, numerous other arrests from people who were in that crowd and were unruly. They have also been taken into custody. And that uh, the fire department, as of now, says there are no reported injuries. And as you can see from Chopper 4, the crowd has uh, reduced by a great amount, uh, not nearly the size that it was earlier, where it was literally wall to wall uh, across Union Square with lots of pushing and shoving as crowds of young people apparently desperate to uh, see this uh, media social influencer and or try to get their hands on some of the free gift cards and gifts that uh, were uh, they were told were going to be given away at this event 